here's five big things that happened in digital marketing this week that you need to know about. X, formerly known as Twitter, but let's be real, who even calls it X? They have officially made likes private, so sorry, you can't be stalking your exes or situationships likes anymore. R.I.P. Now supposedly the reasoning behind this is so people don't feel discouraged by liking more edgy content and to kind of protect their public image, but knowing Elon, there was definitely a personal motive behind that. Next up, the once popular photo sharing app Be Real has officially been sold to a video game and app developer called Voodoo for 500 million euros. Now apparently Voodoo's big plans with Be Real is to basically just introduce ads, which Be Real tried to stay clear from. So if you're still using Be Real, Good luck. It kind of reminds me when Twitter bought and quite frankly killed Vine, but let's be real, Be Real was already dead because I don't know anyone who's still using that app. Over on Instagram, they've decided to test all kinds of new ad formats that people are not liking. <laughs> one version is these new pop-up ads that overlay on your friend's Instagram stories, so no one's safe. At links to like outside stuff as ads do, but that is certainly a choice that I'm sure most people will not like. And they decided to take a page from YouTube and do unskippable ads, which people didn't like, so I have no idea why Instagram's adopting that. As you can see, you cannot keep scrolling on your feed until the timer for the ad has completely counted down, which is so dumb. And as a user myself, I absolutely hate. So let's keep our fingers crossed that they don't keep this feature. Over here on TikTok, they're adding in a search image feature for TikTok shop. Now, this isn't anything new because other platforms like Pinterest have something like this, but it's nice to see TikTok kind of keep up with the times. TikTok shop has been really popping off the last few months and it's actually even the ninth largest online beauty and wellness retailer in the United States and the second largest in the UK. But yeah, this update, as you can see here, just kind of makes it easier for you to search things on here. You can either take a photo in the app or upload your own photo to kind of search through products similar. And last but not least, Google Ads is rolling out a new design interface to everyone on August 30th. They're officially retiring the old one and rolling out a new, more organized one. And we've actually been testing out this new design for about six months so we can give you the real tea on it. Not gonna lie, our team kind of hated it at first because who likes change? Not us. But it's definitely an improvement for Google Ads. It makes everything more simple, more organized like they promised. But yeah, it's just getting used to where everything is because things do kind of change around. But yeah.